Hey everyone, thanks for visiting with me. Uh, today I just wanted to show you some of my uh, completed projects uh, as a newbie. Uh, as I've said in my first video, I started in March and uh, I showed the bag that I finger crocheted and um, here is the bag that I actually crocheted with once I got a hook. And this was made with 5.5 um, hook, I think it was now. Um, and so here is this gra granny square, daisy granny square bag. It's about, um, I kind of didn't use an actual full pattern. Like I used the pattern for the individual squares. And then I did a search on how to make a bag out of granny squares and then I use that pattern and so because of the size of these squares the pattern I found only needed I think 13 um, but with this one um, after I laying it out I realized that um, I figured out I needed 36 squares so that's how much this one was how many squares this one may, uh, needed and and it took a total of took me about 20 hours, I calculated how much time it takes for one square, and it took about 15 minutes, and then so with 36 squares, it took about 18 hours, and then after that, sewing and weaving in all the ends, and then making the handle. So I think, and two, I haven't done it yet, but I need to put a liner in this bag, because obviously as, as I use it, this stretches. But um, this fits about, like, I can fit my iPad in here, basically. So it's a, it's a nice size, and I really like it. So that's my very first project, official project with a hook um, and as an newbie. So really proud of it, and really happy with it, too. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of wasn't into the um, making washcloths, which I do want to make, and plus I don't have any cotton. There's no cotton here available, um, and I, you know, because I guess I am a visual learner, and I learn pretty quickly, quickly just from watching so many videos, doing the single crochet, double crochet. I pretty much got the gist of it, and it was kind of wasn't challenging for me. I, I don't know. I, I just I'm just very adventurous in that. Like I said, I wanted something. I don't want to make a plain, you know washcloth that just was just all single crochet to me that was kind of boring and so that's what I started with and um, so I, I kind of look for patterns that have a variety of stitches because uh, I find myself falling asleep after a while if it's the same repetitive motion um, especially if I'm doing it kind of later in the evening that ten tends to put me asleep so uh, what I started after this bag was um, I wanted um, a, like a wall decor item so I found this uh, really cool owl um, well, owl wall hanging and, and so here's what I have so far if you can see so the heads up here this is the body here's the wings um, and I kind of put this down for right now because as I watched the tutorial, I used the um, tutorial on YouTube, um, when it comes to the eyes, I'm going to need, um, I think a 1.10 millimeter hook is what it say, stated and I needed um, 10 cro uh, crochet thread size 10. So. I just, I haven't really, fin I haven't, I think I still have something to do with the bottom and then I gotta do the eyes or some and stuff. So I uh, haven't really, I put this down for several days. And so I just need to get the thread and the, the smaller hook, then I'll finish the owl. So, and then, uh, so, and then so while I put that down, then I started, I made, um, Someone had asked me about a pouch for her bracelets that she makes, um, beaded bracelet that she makes. Um, 
and the one that I found, you know, which would be because she wanted a small pouch. But of course, I only have uh, worst of weight, so uh, I just made one with, with worst of weight just to see how it comes out and see what the size of it comes out. And so this is the size of it, and this is just pretty much all single crochet <laughs> with. Um, but it was still, it was good. It was a very quick, it took me, still took me about two hours. And, um, but definitely, uh, this, uh, this part definitely keeps me uh, uh, wide awake. <laughs> this part was pretty much, you know, it, it was so quick. And I, um, at one point I did end up falling asleep, <laughs> dozing off. And then, um, but the bottom, definitely you have to, I have to be alert because you got to count because of the increases and it's uh, having to keep track of um, like the pattern would be like the first two sh single crochets into the first stitch and then a uh, single crochet into the next two stitches then two into one and then you know two and then, and then single crochet into the next two st stitches so that the, you know the whole pattern is like and I had to recount this so many times because I so easily got distracted in my thoughts and then lost count of the pattern. And then I had to go back and just to make double, sh um, and make sure where I was, if I was supposed to do the two, two single crochets in the one stitch, or w was I in this, in the, you know, single crochet in, in the next three stitches. And um, so that, that definitely is, uh, having to keep track on with that one is, is a little bit tough because I, I had to re I had to count my stitches every so many times in just the one in just the first you know in, in the just one round so I had to you know. but anyway so that's how that one came out and um, this is with the um, red heart which is what I have available here red heart super saver and it came out quite stiff and so I read that if you wash it it'll soften up and um, it's it's definitely it doesn't really seem a whole lot more softer, but yeah, it definitely, just a slightly, and it definitely is though not as stiff. Probably if I wash it again, um, I'm assuming it may get softer um, after each wash, as it washes out um, the sizing on it. But um, but I can see why though, for sure, why um, people like working with this yarn that has a sizing, because it definitely makes it stiffer makes it a little bit easier to work with in the sense that it doesn't split very often. Yeah, I, I don't remember too much having, you know, having it split. But yeah, I can see why people, some people like the Red Heart Super Saver because of its stiffness, because uh, I don't recall the yarn splitting at all while working with it, at least in my experience so far, with um, all the things that I made. And so, yeah, I, mean, I can I can kind of understand that um, because I actually uh, won some yarn recently, and so yay! I was so excited to try some different kind of yarn, and um, I definitely noticed a difference in the other kind of yarns that are softer, and they split so much easier. And um, yeah, so I can kind of understand why some people prefer this, and just wash out, just wash it after they're done making whatever it is that they're making um, so that it'll be softer but yeah and then so too I just wanted to show um, this one same pouch same design I just did it in a different color um, my oldest she wanted me to make one for her for her bracelets and so in here she has her bracelets um, and she requested three different colors and so these are the colors these are the colors that she chose So, this up, and there she has her, her little bracelets and chokers in there. So, and two, I made this with a 4.25 hook. So this one is slightly smaller. You can't, you might, yeah, if you can see in the height, and then definitely this in the bottom, it's definitely, because I, I was able to, fit this into this pouch it's you know so just slightly smaller so it's cool to see the diff the size difference just by changing the hook so 
and and so um, I just wanted to show you the, the yarn that I won and kind of uh, go over what my thoughts were of the different yarn and well actually let me start with um, the yarns that I used to make this so this blue is the same one that I made the other pouch with the Red Heart Super Saver that was mine that was a yarn I, I bought and then this pink is uh, Yarn B soft and sleek and same weight it's a four and it definitely is really nice and soft for sure I really like this yarn yarn B yarn and when I was working with it very easy to work with when I was making this and it didn't I'm trying to think it didn't split I don't remember it splitting at all with this one um, so I definitely would like to get more um, of this so I just really wish we <laughs> I was able to just I just wish I was able to fly over back to the States and go and shop the Hobby Lobby yarn clearance they had man <laughs> watching all those yarn hauls oh I just so wish I could have had access to that because they didn't they didn't make that available at all online the prices were nothing like the prices that everyone was getting in the store but anyway so and then another color that I or the other yarn the purple that I made that I used for this bag purple on the top is this one the saw so the red heart soft and I'm trying to think I don't remember seeing this in the stores in the store one store here that has yarn um, I think oh, it's really only super saver and I did see one it was some um, this one is soft it, de it definitely it isn't the same one as this one because this gray one that I bought here is not a super saver but I can't remember what it was called it, it was no it was a super saver something maybe it's a super saver soft and I'm assuming it's different than this one because this one is quite different this one has a bit of a sheen this one definitely does not it is soft much softer than the regular super saver but this one is softer and it has a bit of a sheen and this one and the gray one they both split quite easily so I definitely had to be way more careful way s slower in working with this yarn but but still I really like this like I guess I would totally use this to make um, a wearable if I was to make a wrap or something although I, I think I would prefer a much I would prefer lighter weight yarns because uh, this one is stated a four, a stated a four, but um, this is when I compare it when I was working with this to make this bag, and these two definitely, the the pink and the blue definitely a four. But then when I was working with this, and just it's just like slightly thinner than the other two. So, but anyway, yeah, I I, I like this one too. Um, I like this one for the sheen, for the look, because it's a very, very slight sheen, but I really like that, like this one for that. But I think overall general use, um, I like this one better. This one doesn't split, or it doesn't split as easy, and it is soft. This one is softer than the soft and sleek, but I think I would still prefer this one, the Yarn B, soft and sleek. Um, for a worsted weight, so definitely out of the yarn bee, the, the red heart soft and the red heart super saver, I much prefer this one. So um, definitely really nice to being able to try some different kind of yarns. And just one last thing, just wanted to show the other yarns I got in my prize is this one. Um, or this one I love this yarn I love this yarn um, this one is called Belladonna and this one is called Parcel and Bow so if you can see that so this one has kind of like pinks and blues purples and this one's gray pink and yellow so I haven't worked with this one yet but this is very nice and soft um,
and then this is the last one so I got so she sent me it so thank you so much Cindy <laughs> you don't know how much I appreciate this um, Cindy Moulter if you if you happen to watch her channel that's where um, I won the yarn from and so it was those t the so she sent me the yarn bee the red heart soft the, in the purple and those two I love this yarn and then she also sent me mimosa blue and it looks like it's it says yarn bee but because of the label I'm wondering if this must have been like their old labels but anyway I was so happy to get this because I want light, light wheat yarn um, obviously too because here only one that's available to me here is four weight yarn I even though I haven't worked with lightweight yarn yet uh, I just really like the look of lightweight yarn in um, shawl, the shawls that I've seen. This is one shawl that I really want to make and I've been waiting uh, to make until I get some lightweight yarn. Um, but I, I won't be able to make it with this one. I only have two skeins of this one so I'm pretty sure it will not be enough for the shawl. But I will have to figure out what I'm going to make with this. I'm so excited to have some lightweight yarn. But I, I, I'm finding, I'm thinking I would I would prefer the one twos or three lightweight um, one twos or three weight yarn um, so yeah so I just I just like the look of it but obviously for things that I uh, other things I think like say for like rugs then I would prefer more the four five or six weight yarn for that um, but for everything else I'm I like I like the look of light lightweight yarns and so yeah so this one is the mimosa it's really pretty it's nice and soft and it has looks like it has metallic in it yeah can you see you see the little sparkles uh, it looks like sparkles and so like it so it says it has um co oh 60 62 percent cotton and 38 percent rayon so yeah, and blue is my favorite color. So this was just like perfect. And um, so I still gotta figure out what, I, what can I make with these two skeins of, of it. And um, really pretty. So very excited and so grateful. Thank you so much again, Cindy, if you happen to be watching. Um, but yeah, so. And so that's it for today. And thank you so much for watching if you watch all the way to the end. And I will see you next time. Bye, God bless.